princesses! Today I'm going to be talking about a few items that I picked up from YesStyle for my birthday. So YesStyle sent over a $100 coupon for my birthday in January. I don't think I've ever gotten like a coupon for my birthday before, but I was like, you bet I'm going to be buying. The things that have been on the list that either uh, have been like it takes too long to get or they just didn't fit into like any of the other hauls. So this is that haul today. <laughs> so the first item is the one that I'm wearing at the moment, which is, I really want to take it off because I'm dying of heat. It is still summer in New Zealand. I'm filming this at the end of February, start of March, because the order took a really long time to get to me because of this one piece. This is like a little wrap sweater in white or like off-white. I think it was like one of the ones that is um, like available within like 21 days. It was a really long time and I was like I still want to wait for it because I really like it. So it's kind of got like this, I wish it was looser, but like loose wrap sort of um, design where it just crosses over in the top. It sh I, I would like it if it was a little bit looser but understandably I do have a larger bust so it is what it is and it's just plain in the back. So it's not actually wrapped, it just has the, the look of being wrapped. And I'm wearing it with dress pants at the moment because that's what I had on the bottom because I'm between my two teaching jobs for the day. Um, and it is super warm. I am dying right now. <laughs> but it is also like really cozy. I really like how the sleeves are tight down the bottom. That is my preference. And then they're nice and loose. So if I was wearing something underneath, it's not gonna get caught. And uh, yeah, it just really is very stretchy goes over the top of the head. Took ages to get here, but I really like it and I'm really looking forward to wearing it in the actual cold this year, which will probably happen soon. The next item I really want to like because it's a very cute pink wrap with shorties. Uh, it just ties up in the back like a regular wrap top would. But the thing that I don't like about this is that it's really see-through. <laughs> like even for, you know, this kind of pink color, you wouldn't expect it to be so see-through. It is obviously quite short as well, like there's not a huge amount of fabric and if you have bigger bust I am kind of, you know, like there's not a much, there's not a bunch of fabric to kind of like ruffle over the top of my bra. You can definitely see the texture of like the lace bra underneath. I don't actually own at the moment any non-textured like t-shirt bras because it's quite hard to find them in my size and I just haven't found one I liked. It's easier with a softer cup because you don't have to have it fit precisely amazingly um, and I do gain and lose weight a lot so. It is what it is. This one is pretty poorly made. Um, there are a lot of little um, strings hanging out and sort of weird, like this sleeve for some reason is not quite the right length. The top part is, is longer, not really sure why. The sleeves are also very tight, um, and so I kind of have to pull them up a little bit. But it's mostly the fact that it's quite see-through that um, means that I don't actually get much wear out of it, if any, because you can see my bra. Otherwise, it's really cute and I can just get rid of these loose threads. There, there are quite a lot of loose threads. Then, another one of the items that I was like, I really, really, really want this. I think I got this one. No, this one was definitely on the wish list because I was like, it's very cute and pink. It's just very see-through. Another one that has been on the wish list for a while is this forest green cardigan. There was a forest green, like, crew neck jumper that I really, really wanted, but I couldn't get it because it was one of the up to 21 days and it just never came into stock so I couldn't get it. I've ordered it before. And so we settled with the forest green cardigan and this is like a love-hate love. I love the color. I think that this color is gorgeous. It's huge. Um, it is supposed to be oversized, so it is what it is. This also fits my boyfriend though, like it's, and he's significantly larger than I am. Um, but it kind of gives like a very cute like grandpa vibe. Like I feel very much like someone's granddad right now. <laughs> and like in a cute way though, you know, like it's oversized and it is super snuggly and it's super soft and like I love it so much. I wish it was a little bit smaller so it looked a little bit more professional. Like I can't wear this to teach because it's not, it's not a professional look. But it is very cute. Um, it has this weird sleeve thing where the sleeves are sewn down on one side. So they're folded in and slow sewn down. I don't know where they folded in. So part of the sleeve usually comes out when I put my hands through and I have to kind of tuck it back under, which is a bit odd. Um, you can kind of flip them back to make a regular arm length. So that for me is where my, if I wanted to actually do stuff with my hands. And this is like the cozy long 
um, look. So it's quite versatile. I really just like the color, like I really wanted it because it was this nice foresty green and it is a really beautiful forest green color. Could probably be a little bit more green, like it's a little bit like khaki-ish, but that's me being very picky. It's super soft, squishy, cozy. I'm dying of heat right now, I have to take it off, but I have been wearing it like in the evenings, so definitely love it. This one wasn't on the wish list. It was something that I kind of scrolled past and it was really cheap, it was on clearance. It was like $10 and it was a really pretty color. I love this color. It's like a really nice like wine red, but this does not fit <laughs> whatsoever. And the reason is because the shoulder to bust is really short, really short. So you can actually see that's the line that should be under my bust. So we can kind of pull it down um, and get it underneath. It's very, very short. Um, in every way possible, it's very short. And again, I kind of love this. It's definitely not a dress for professional wear, obviously. It is like a going out to dinner kind of dress, but it is so short. Um, like I could not walk in this without it actually riding up above my butt. So here is the bottom. It's kind of got like this little ruffle. It is unflatteringly tight across the tummy because there's no, there's not really any fabric to kind of help out. But <laughs> my butt ends there. And you've just got like the tiniest bit of fabric, just like a, a whisper, a thought of fabric to cover my butt. Um, and I'm not quite that adventurous. I feel like it's either made for someone who's significantly shorter than me or has significantly less bust. So maybe, you know, but even then, I think from like the bust line to the bottom is incredibly short. So although I like the concept and the color of this dress and it's not actually very poorly made, it's actually quite nicely made. Um, it's really nice fabric. Not too many little loose strings. Um, it is horrendously short and unfortunately for me, unwearable. The next dress I'm not super certain about um, and it's this pink dress with heart buttons, which is literally what it's called. So it's a really pretty pink, but I hate the shoulders with a passion. I don't know why they are so tall. I'm not sure like, but they just pop straight back up. They're very, they're very high, but it's quite tight down the bottom. And so you end up with this like puff that just looks really flattened, like it's not a very good puff. The heart buttons are adorable. I love them so much. I could probably do without these little pockets. I feel like it would look a lot cuter if you didn't have them a little bit more, or a little bit less, I would say. Like a little bit less detail is actually sometimes a little bit better. But I also really love the cut that comes in from the waist and then slightly further down because it just looks very pretty. It's very princessy. And the bottom is a full circle skirt. So it's very swishy, it's very fun. Heaps of fabric, like that, and it's lined nicely. Nice, nicely enough. The fabric also feels very nice. It's a very thick feeling fabric. It feels very luxurious. This one needs a steam, but I, I don't think I'm gonna keep it because I feel like it's a bit, it's a bit much with the puff and the little things. I was considering taking at least the little buttons off if not the whole flat, but I feel like it's gonna kind of ruin the dress in a way because these flaps are really sewn in there. So amazing quality, really beautiful color, love the heart detail, but all in all, not the dress for me, but very, very, very cute if you're looking for something similar. I also picked up this mist from Sioris. This is the Time is Running Out mist, and I love this. This is like the best, best like nozzle of mist I've ever had, I think. So you shake it up to get all of the oil mixed in and then you spritz. Now when it's like super hot because it's the middle of, okay, it's not the middle of summer anymore, but don't eat it though. It doesn't taste good. You know it's middle of summer, it's really hot and you just want something that feels cold, but like you're not like, you're like hosing your face down. So good. It feels very nice as well. Like it's very moisturizing. It's macadamia seed and jojoba seed oil. It's very moisturizing as a mist. So maybe not something that I would be using over my makeup all the time today for a video, totally. But mostly I use this like in the mornings or at night if I want like an extra layer, very, very thin layer of mist or oil. And I'll definitely be reusing the bottle afterwards because it's like the nicest, finest mist ever. Feels like it's got glitter, but it's actually just the oil. Yeah, I really like it. I think they do a few different types of mists, so I'd be interested to try more 
variety, especially if the nozzle is so good. And then this is the last dress that for today will not zip up, not because it doesn't fit, it is totally fine, but because the zipper is stuck. I cannot get it to go past. Ow. It's probably invisible. Oh, oh. Oh, yep. Yeah. Okay, we've got it slightly further up, but it's still stuck. Oh. All right, it's, it is going to be what it's going to be. So with this one, I would need to tape my boobs because there is no way that I can wear a bra underneath. It's just so low cut. It is very, 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 very cute though. Um, I picked this up because it was cheap, I believe. It was on clearance. And because I thought that the pattern and the like little extra details like the broderie was really nice. Doesn't quite fit right. There's something about this. I think it might be because of the zipper at the moment though. That's not quite sitting the way I like it. Yeah, I couldn't tell you what's going on on this side, aside from the fact that it's not quite zipped up all the way, but this very cute has a bright orange tag for some reason, I don't know why. And the bottom is a really nice detail. It goes down into blue and it's a really wide pleat and it's got really nicely set out sort of pleats on the bottom. So it's not just like a full circle or anything like that. It does have the band around the waist here, which is really nice and it's really fluffy. It's also got a lining underneath, which is a skirt, not pants, thankfully. And I kind of don't know if I want to keep this on or not because I don't know if I'd wear this anywhere aside from a wedding because of like how extra it is. Maybe it's too high. But because of the boobies, um, I don't know if I'd feel comfortable wearing this to a wedding because it feels very revealing. Um, unless I could kind of tape Tape the girl slightly sideways. I don't know if that's going to work though, but it's a very, very, very cute dress. Um, and if you have slightly smaller chest, I would say, or if you do not mind having so much of your chest out, then it's definitely one I'd recommend because the fabric, oh, fabric is very nice. It's very soft and silky. It's got no flaws that I can see other than a few extra little stitches. And I think that the pattern is really cute. So it's like a mix of two. You've got the pink sort of big flowers that you can see on the majority of this dress and then there's these little panels of blue that come through on the bottom and I think it just looks so nice rather than having two different patterns it's a max mix <laughs> max it's a mix of the two and I think that it's really flattering it's super cute so this is the last dress I don't know what do you think I kind of I like the sleeves on this better because they have all of the puff rather than just a little bit of puff. Oh, and one of the things that I can't put in my hair right now because it is tied up because again, it is filthy. It's got a nice little curl on the bottom though, so it's nice, is this little claw clip that has pearls and roses on it. This one should be clear, but it's kind of yellowed. I don't know why. Um, and yeah, I wasn't sure how big this is gonna be because there were no reviews. It is like a decent hand size, although I have a lot of hair. Um, it doesn't hold a huge amount of it but it looks very cute in my hair. And it's really nice for clipping like the front bits are back away from my face when I'm trying to do something, so. That is the birthday haul. I am so grateful that I was given a coupon to spend for my birthday because it was like a free reign kind of thing. Always my favorite kinds of hauls. So thank you guys so much for watching this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye.